now live in our beautiful rooftop studio. Kuki Liu, former international student who majored in diplomacy at Russia's Lobachevsky State University. Thank you for coming in to see us today. We really appreciate your time. So I think everyone seems to be aware that BRICS is well underway here in Johannesburg. There's been so much buzz and hype over the 15th summit, partly because it's the first face-to-face -face summit since COVID. So that makes it extra special. But why do you think so many people are focused on the summit? Um, I think one thing that um, everyone is uh, speaking about right now is majorly the, um, the BRICS currency. Everyone just wants to see is everyone agreeing, are we all on the same page? Mm. Even those who are now just wanting to step in and join the BRICS, um, is everyone, how will it happen? Will it, be, will it succeed? And for those who will be benefiting from it, how will it benefit us? Mm. I think that's what everyone is just now um, concerned about. Do you expect to see some solid progress on that during the summit? Definitely, definitely. I mean, since, uh, as you've mentioned, um, since COVID, it's been a while since they've got, gotten together. So there needs to be some uh, progress from mm. this summit. I mean, we are, everyone is expecting a lot, not just me, but I feel like also the public at large and not just people from the BRICS countries, but also those who are looking to join the BRICS. Everyone is uh, highly focused on this summit mm, and indeed. the progress of it. You know, uh, there are 40 countries who are interested in seeking a membership with the BRICS. Yes. And that means a greater opportunity for the youth of the Global South, and most importantly, Africa. And you yourself are a youth. What, what's your take on that? Um, my take on it is that um, I'm not so sure about maybe the other countries, but I'm mainly focused on the African countries who are now wanting to hop in and jump in. I think it's a very great opportunity for us um, as the youth and as the people who will be leading our countries for, for, for longer. I think it's a good thing for us to, to have a say, grab those opportunities and make sure that um, our countries benefit from this and also those who are to come, generations to come. There may be many countries that want to join the BRICS block but it's not that simple, is it? Expansion of a block, there may be challenges along the way. What, what sort of challenges do you think they might face? I think the challenges that we might face is that uh, maybe the five countries who are now already part of the BRICS have established a lot. And it was even with just five countries, it was a huge struggle to get everyone on the same page. Mm -hmm. So maybe the struggles is to make sure, is to see if those coming on board will, they all agree at the right time with the right things. Right, and it's so yeah. more, much more difficult to much more take difficult a step to take if a step. one person <laughs> is not on the the same page as Definitely. the rest. Do you think there's a difference in how Western states treat Africa and, and view Africa and the approach of non-African BRICS members? Um, definitely there is. Even with us as uh, South Africa being the only African part of the BRICS nation, there's still a bit of difficulties there when it comes to the Western approach towards us, towards our political system, and just um, having understanding us as uh, people with different needs as f from theirs. It's still, um, I don't know how to call this, but I think maybe technology and um, in the internet has a breakdown of that because they're learning more from us. Mm. It's um, closing the gap, it's closing the distance. So it's getting better, but there's still a bit of uh, difficulties there. Yeah. You know, and, and just touching on that, South Africa was extremely pressured about you know, Russia be, uh, Russia's President Vladimir Putin being in attendance and having to be, you know, for them to exercise their obligation to the ICC, which they are the signatory to. However, South Africa is also aggressively pursuing to invite other African countries to be a part of the BRICS. What does that mean for the continent? Would that bridge and create a lot more interaction and, you know, like an ecosystem that is lacking right now? It definitely will because we are understanding that uh, South Africa going forth on its own, it's not really helping much um, uh, more people that we want to reach. So that's is why we are pushing for more um, African countries to join, which is uh, hence why I said in the beginning that, um, yes, I know there's like other countries that want to join, but I'm more focused on the African countries because I'm understanding the difference that it will make, the changes that it comes with, the opportunities, and how much it will, it, it will be a greater benefit for everyone. So I think uh, for us, we are pushing to be on the same page with those African countries because, again, I'm saying that we, uh, BRICS has already achieved a lot. The only delay that I see there is everyone being on the same page. That's the only thing that will cause delays for us but other than that um, it looks good it's exciting there are, there are a number of African countries that are facing challenges right now I'm, I'm speaking about you know the crisis in Niger the Sahel region the instability there do you think that a stronger BRICS presence um, for Africa will, will bring some stability uh, definitely it will but besides uh, just not only relying on BRICS I just think that um, 
um, how can I say, uh, relations that we've built amongst ourselves as African nations are actually there to help with current situations that we're dealing with now. We don't want to put so much pressure on uh, relying on just the BRICS on its own, but us uh, on ourselves, we are working on fixing that. So once it comes to a larger uh, platform like BRICS, we know that um, we are working on bigger changes. We've already helped those little problems that we have, but we are working on uh, bigger changes. Absolutely. And you know, today, the youth had a huge platform to address not just the the five BRICS heads of states, but many heads of states that are in attendance. And they really drove home the importance of youth being included in this inclusiveness that BRICS is, you know, pushing, not just on a here you can do this because we have planned this for you but allow us to talk to you directly so we can tell you what our future is because we're the present and the future was exactly what she said on stage tell me a little bit about your experience because you studied in russia and i want to know how do you think the continent's youth can benefit from Russia and the rest of the BRICS states? Um, first of all, I think maybe one thing that I would like us to point out is what we can benefit from maybe the other states, uh, states like Russia, is how, the, how accessible the education is there and about the affordability of the education. Because one thing I know for sure um, here in South Africa, um, access to education is a problem for us because of the affordability of it, the money. We don't have access to um, even maybe um, um, higher studies, maybe your masters and your doctorates, things like that, because of the affordability issue and because obviously uh, our government is under pressure, they can't uh, fund for, for everyone. That just because you qualify for it doesn't mean you're going to get access to it, you know. So I feel like if there's something we can take from the other countries and learn, it's to maybe to push more things like education for the youth, things that will be beneficial to the country, to make it a priority and make it accessible to, to more people. Because imagine I had to leave here to go to another country to study just because of a case of affordability. So things like that, I feel like maybe in the upcoming five years or so, it shouldn't be an issue anymore. We shouldn't see young people fighting for, for a right to education. And these are people who clearly qualify for a good education. The only problem standing in their way is the affordability issue. I think things like that should be a problem of the past and not something that we still... Um, struggle with in the future. Absolutely. And you know, South Africa and China have signed an MOU specifically for the field of education. What is your expectation from that? Uh, I'm expecting to see more and more people get the education that they deserve, more the, uh, people to get the education that they need. And I'm expecting to see uh, transference of skills, transference of skills. I mean, afterwards, we need to see the outcome of it. You know, you studied. What are you now doing for your people? What are you doing for your country? We need to see uh, more people um, doing greater things um, after their education. We just need to see our, our country be successful in that right to just show that, you know what, um, we've got the skills, we've got the people, here's the outcome. What do you feel about the, the future of relations between BRICS nations and Western states? Because for so long, the minority has made the decisions for the majority, and now we see a changing time. Do you think there might be a confrontation? How do you see this change playing out? Um, definitely a confrontation, but I feel it's a confrontation of results. I feel as, um, as soon as the majority, which is what BRICS is... Um, presenting, as soon as it brings in results and good results, there's, there's nothing they can fight today with. You know, I think the confrontation is just giving them results to say, you know what, we've been saying this and this doesn't work, and here we bring to the table something that now works. So thank you so much for coming to see us in our studio. We, we've been, it's been great to talk to you. Uh, Kuki Liu, former international student who majored in diplomacy at Russia's at Lobachevsky State University. Thank you so thank you, much and, and enjoy this beautiful <laughs> weather. Afrique Media, Le Monde. C'est nous.